They're here to help pack. The police are going to tell them to grab personal items and leave the property immediately. We have legal possession right now. Start packing. Yeah. Hey, hey! All right, man. Oi! Recently, a distressed landlord contacted Prue and fellow good girl Michelle Frew to help recover over $3,000 in unpaid rent. The freeloading tenant is someone Prue and Michelle know very well. And the last time the good girls dealt with her, she sent this guy out to negotiate. You can off too, mate. Hey, hey! All right, oh, man. Oi! I'm going. To mitigate any more loss to this landlord, the good girls need to terminate the tenancy as quickly as possible. So this is something I just whipped up previously, which I'm now going to staple to her fence. It's a hearing for possession of the property. This time, Prue is making sure the message is heard loud and clear. I have a chair, which I'm going to stand upon. Her imagined this in her mind. She conjured this up. I was a bit concerned that we were making fun of a serious situation, but this lady is having a good laugh at the owners that she's ripping off. It may seem like an extreme measure, but Prue's pantomime has a purpose. I don't want them to miss, you know, say they didn't get it. I think it's looking festive, isn't it? Especially with those balls, one either end. Good girls' balls. The good girls have been hired by the latest landlord to fall prey to the serial fraudster and are seeking immediate eviction at the tenancy tribunal. We're going in and then we'll await the hearing at 9.30 with much joy in the heart. Despite the good girl's best efforts to make sure she received the message, the tenant said she didn't get it and doesn't bother to show up. But the judge's decision is swift. Yay, 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 yay. yay. So, here we go. <laughs> She's gone. We got rid of her again. Well, now we just got to get her out of the house. With no time to lose, Prue and Michelle head over to the property to deliver the judge's verdict, and the landlord is only too pleased to see them. Oh, thank you so much. We'll be scanning you a copy of us. Oh, yeah. Hello! Auntie! The tenant refuses to front up, but has employed a team to speak on her behalf. So apparently you have to get off the property. No, I don't. We have possession. We have possession of the home. Possession of the home. Yeah, police have been called right now. No, they already know. Get out, please. We need you out today. Read the order. order. We have legal possession right now. Legal possession of the property right now. Start packing. No, we're not actually. You yeah. are. You're inside the house. You weren't invited in. Get out. We've we got, got the property position. back by the order of the district court. We'll wait for the police then, shall we? I'll give them a buzz now. While Prue's on the phone to the police, what looks like a trickle treater turns up. Oh, gorgeous who certainly won't be getting any treats from Prue. Are you here to help pack? The police are going to tell them to grab personal items and leave the property immediately. Then we're going to change the locks, and they're only allowed back with police supervision to collect their goods. But unfortunately, Prue's police parade is about to get rained on. We've got to give them 48 hours once this notice has been issued. Despite the tenancy tribunal judge agreeing to immediate eviction due to the fraudulent behaviour of the tenant, the legal wording on the eviction order still allows for 48 hours notice. Today is Wednesday, Friday. That, that's, what, that's what my thing is. I want to go on Friday. Well, I, that, I, I want to do it Friday. Yeah, if you can get the bailiffs to do it on Friday, then that's 48 hours. I will. Yeah. So it looks like two more days until the tenant is gone and two more days in rent arrears for the landlord. Prue Morrell and Michelle Frew from Good Girls Property Management have successfully evicted a serial rent dodger who owes over $40,000 in rent to local landlords and has paid her current landlord a total of 81 cents since moving in over two months ago. I'm going to give them to five o'clock, which is really generous. And um, then we're locking the doors and we have to get them to leave the premises. The now former tenant hasn't fronted during the entire tenancy tribunal process 
and is still getting others to clean up after her. I think there's an awful lot left behind, isn't there? And a lot of personal stuff, but... OK, so the truck is coming to get all of this, including the bird. Looks like a pretty plucky budgie. After nearly two weeks of legal processes, the eviction is complete. That's locked. And the good girls have another satisfied client. We're a team. <laughs> we are. It's on now. That's it. But sadly, there's more than one small-time Christchurch landlord slowly sinking into mortgage arrears because of bad tenants. And soon Prue and Michelle have another freeloader in their sights. The young lady staying at this house is over $3,000 behind in rent payments and has shown little interest in getting back on track or moving out. Hello? It's Prue from Good Girls. Hello? The door's unlocked. The property's desperate landlord has given Prue and Michelle permission to inspect the premises. That is bad. The red is the worst thing to get out of a car park. To see how much more she'll owe for the cost of cleaning and repairs. What about this over here? That's bleach. That is bleach. Anybody there? It's... She's looking a little bit... Despite the house being left unlocked, no one's showing their face, so Prue leaves a calling card. I'll just pop it in there amongst the toast. And heads off to her old haunt, the Tenancy Tribunal. The tenancy officially, as per the court, ended at midnight last night, and the tenant is meant to be gone by today. Now comes the hard part. So, the thing about it is that you were meant to be gone. Well, if it's 10 minutes, it's one lot. So I need to come in and have a look now. The it's property is officially oh, mine. Yeah, I'm just waiting. yeah, that's fine. I'm just waiting for my friend to come and help me put it all on with my But you knew how long you had to go. The tenant claims she misunderstood the court order and thought she had to have moved out by midday today. But unfortunately, she's well behind the eight ball. They've had a farewell party. They have. Yes. So they can afford to buy booze, but they can't afford to pay rent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Necessity may be the mother of invention, but the tenant's mother isn't happy about being called in to help her daughter with some urgent heavy lifting. Just stick it in the drive if we have to. If it's how we get it out, it can go on the drive. I'll give two shifts. Legally, this should have all been completed last night, and Prue and Michelle have reached the end of their tether. No, you're leaving in five minutes. I'm leaving. We've been, next time. We okay. have been pretty patient. You We've been really patient. We've been really patient. Don't be How patient you've been, lady? Five minutes. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Otherwise, we will call the police. Call the cops. Luckily, this time, Prue and Michelle will be the only ones doing the locking up. Cleaner will be in here tomorrow. Right. With the locks changed and the house finally emptied of most items, the landlord can finally draw a line under this unfortunate episode. Right. That's us. And it's back to living with Mum for the former tenant. And you'll be in touch about a payment plan, I'm sure. That's it. Setting up a little AP. Oh, I'm very happy to see the back of that lot. Yeah, her and her mother. Well, they're the sort of people you don't want to have in anybody's rental properties, honestly. Ever. With that sort of attitude Ever. To, to people. No, we'll life. just add it to the blacklist. Yeah. And that'll be the end of it. 